Hello friends, today we are going to see the trick to solve Miller theorem based amplifier sum. So without wasting our time, let's start with the very first sum. This sum is of EC2012. The sum is the voltage gain AV of the circuit shown below is okay. So the circuit is this one and the options are here. Okay. So if you see this circuit carefully here, we have to find out the voltage gain AV and the AV here is VO by VI. Okay. So from the question, you can clearly see this question is asking about overall voltage gain okay and the interesting thing in this circuit is that this resistor is present between input and output okay so to resolve this resistor we have to use concept of miller theorems so let's take a quick review on concept of miller theorem okay so whenever you get a circuit something like this whenever some impedance or some resistance is present between input and output port then you have to use your Miller theorem basically you are resolving this impedance into two impedance that will be present in input side as well as output side okay so the resistance which was present between input and output now it will be one in the input side and one in the output side okay and the value that we have to prefer for that is impedance upon 1 minus AV basically AV is internal voltage gain and at the output side the value of the impedance will be RA upon 1 minus 1 upon AV okay so most of the time you will get resistance this theorem is valid for capacitance as well as inductance also okay so let's use this Miller theorem and solve this question okay we have already seen how to solve CE without RE sums okay so the procedure will be same just we have to take care of the resistance which was present between input and output port okay so here you can see this circuit is clearly common ammeter without RE right so we know the internal voltage gain formula of CE without RE which is nothing but minus GM into RL dash I know you must be knowing how this formula is derived right if you don't know you can watch my previous video where I have explained you CE without re in detail okay so we know this internal voltage gain formula is minus gm into rl dash right and the gm relation is gm is equals to mod of ic by vt or beta upon r pi okay here we are going to use this mod of ic by vt we don't have any direct value of r pi so we are not going to use that relation here we are going to use this relation okay and from this formula you can see that gm is mod of ic by vt it means that we are required ic right so for ic we are going to use dc analysis and in the internal voltage gain formula you can clearly see it is minus gm into rl dash so for this rl dash we have to do ac analysis also okay so for internal voltage gain we have to do dc analysis as well as ac analysis and at the end we will get overall voltage gain using our internal voltage gain okay so let's start with the dc analysis dc analysis it means that you have to open circuit all capacitance okay so if you see this circuit carefully we have two capacitors right if we remove this capacitor we will be left with only this circuit right so here you can see the dc circuit is now this voltage source this resistance this resistance and this transistor okay so now we are going to use mesh analysis to get our base current first then we will use ic equals to beta into ib relation to get our ic okay so first we will apply kvl to the input mass basically we are going to apply kvl to this loop okay and note one thing here i have taken vbe is equals to 0.7 volt as in the question it is not mentioned that from which material this transistor is made of so by default we have to assume this transistor is made up of silicon so the base voltage for silicon transistor is always 0.7 volt okay so if we apply kvl we will get minus 13.7 plus ib plus ic into 2lk so we can write ib plus ic as 1 plus beta into ib right so this is what i have written plus 2lk into 1 plus beta into ib basically you can also say ic plus ib as ie and we know the relation between ib and ie as 1 plus beta into ib okay i hope you understand this 
then plus 100 k ib plus 0.7 volt equals to 0 okay now we are going to make ib at one side and remaining term at another side okay so now here in the question beta is given as 100 so we are going to use that okay so here it will be 12k into 101 okay so if you simplify it it will be 1212 kilo ohm ib plus 100 k ib is equals to 13 okay so our ib becomes 13 upon 1212 plus 100 so it will be 1312 and if you simplify it you will get 0 0.0099 milliampere which is equals to 0 0.01 milliampere okay so this is your base current now we want ic right and for ic we know the relation that is ic is equals to beta ib okay so it will be 100 into 0 0.01 milliampere so it is nothing but 1 milliampere so we got our ic okay basically we completed our dc analysis part so directly we are going to use this formula gm is equals to mod of ic by vt okay so we will get our gm as 1 milliampere upon 26 millivolt it will be cancelled milli milli so we will get 1 upon 26 which is nothing but 0.038 ampere per volt okay so we got our gm as 0.038 now it's time to go for ac analysis okay so for AC analysis again we are going to use RE model we are not going for H parameter model we are going to use RE model so for AC analysis we are going to make capacitor a short circuit okay so in the circuit if we make capacitor short circuit we will have VI as our voltage source then RS which is nothing but 10k and here we have to use Miller theorem to resolve this resistance into input port and output port so here we will have one resistance of 100k upon 1 minus av okay and at the output side we will have 100k upon 1 minus 1 upon av okay so these are the two resistance which came because of resolution of that 100k resistance which was present at input and output port okay and this is our nothing but re model okay here we don't have any re resistance present here so here we don't have any re resistance present here it is directly connected to ground okay and at the end we have rc resistance which is nothing but 12 kilo ohm and as we know in ac analysis we have to make dc source ground and capacitor to short circuit okay so this will be connected to ground so if you see carefully this 12k ohm will be connected here okay so this is what i have drawn here in this circuit this is your 12k kilo ohm resistance which is connected from your collector sides right so this is our complete ac model for the given circuit and we have to use this to get our rl dash okay so our rl dash will be now this 100 kilo ohm upon 1 minus 1 upon av parallel with 12 kilo ohm resistance okay now if you see this denominator carefully here we have 1 minus 1 upon av right and we all know that av basically internal voltage gain of c amplifier is always greater than 100 okay so we can write it as mod of av is very much greater than equals to 1 okay so we can ignore this term 1 upon bigger number will be very small number okay so we can ignore this term and in the denominator we will have only 1 okay so we can write rl dash as 100k parallel with 12k which will be equals to 10.71 kilo ohm resistance okay and if we use this rl dash we will get our av as minus gm into rl dash which is nothing but minus 0 0.038 multiply by 10.71k which will be nothing but minus 407.14 okay so this is our internal voltage gain but the question is asked about overall voltage gain okay before we move to the overall voltage gain first let me tell you here in all miller based sums you have to use this condition only then only you can move further okay so whenever you get this type of situation you have to consider mod of av is very much greater than one then only you can solve this rl dash parallel resistance and whatever the resistance you get you have to simply put in this formula to get your internal voltage gain okay you can also verify this from this value here you can see mod of av is 407 okay so this condition always satisfies okay so whenever you have to use miller theorem in ce amplifier sum you have to always consider this condition to solve further okay so you got your internal voltage gain now we want avs basically overall voltage gain okay we named it as avs because 
at the source side we have v as okay but in the question if you see carefully you have v i okay so in the question we have v i so basically you can say that our voltage source is basically represented by v i o so this is what we want v o by v i okay and if we want to represent this overall voltage gain in terms of internal voltage gain we can do that by multiplying and dividing by this v i dash v i dash is internal voltage okay so here you can see here v i is already used that's why we have taken v i dash okay if in the question here it was v s then here we will take v i okay so accordingly you have to change your representation okay but this is our internal voltage that we are going to use okay so this is our formula now v o by v i dash multiply by v i dash upon v i okay if we cut this we will get the same formula that is vo by vi okay so this formula is not conflicted okay so the formula that we get in terms of internal voltage gain that is av into vi dash upon vi okay now we have av basically internal voltage gain but we don't have this vi dash by vi okay so for vi dash by vi we are going to use our voltage divider rule okay but for that which resistance to be used here that is the question okay so always note one thing that for vi dash by vs you have to use the virtual resistance that is ri dash which is very close to this rs okay so first we have to calculate our ri dash and for calculation of ri dash first we need ri okay so our ri will be simply r pi okay and the formula of r pi is beta by gm okay so it will be 100 upon 0 0.038 which is nothing but 2.631 kilo ohm okay so we got our ri but we want ri dash okay ri dash is simply the parallel combination of r pi as well as this 100 kilo ohm upon 1 minus av okay av we recently got it as minus 407.14 okay so here if we put all this into this formula we will get 100k upon 1 plus 407.14 parallel with 2.631 kilo ohm okay and if we use calculator to solve this we will get 0.22 kilo ohm okay always for parallel resistance go for calculator it will save your time okay now we got our all the resistance needed we can go for voltage divider rule okay simply so here we are going to use this circuit okay this is your vi this is your rs and this is your vi dash which is the voltage across this ri dash ri dash is a virtual resistance okay so your vi dash will be simply ri dash upon ri dash plus rs into vs okay if we take vs here we will get ri dash upon ri dash plus rs okay it is nothing but 0.22k upon 10.22k it is nothing but 0.021 okay so you got your vi dash by vs and we have internal voltage gain also okay so if we put all this thing into this formula we will get minus 407.14 multiplied by 0.021 which is nothing but minus 8.78 okay so if we take mod of this we will get 8.78 okay and from the option if you check here we have the options such as mod of AV which is nearly equals to 200, nearly equals to 100, nearly equals to 20 and nearly equals to 10 okay and we got our mod of AV as 8.78 which is nearly equals to 10 okay. So the correct option for this question is mod of AV equals to 10 okay. So this is all about Miller theorem. We have seen what precautions we have to take care, what formula we have to use to solve our sum. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you guys.